How's it going everybody? My name is Avery. Today we're going to be covering how to use the SDL mixer library. Uh, SDL itself has its own um, functions and functionality for playing audio and audio files and whatnot, except for it's not extremely advanced. And for that there's the SDL2 or SDL mixer library. And we're just going to be covering over some of the basic features. I'll have some links for stuff in the description. This is the documentation for it. There's as well as this lazy foo documentation tutorial on how to use it it doesn't cover over everything it's just showing how to use the the default functions for playing like a wave or a wav or wav file or me covering a little bit more using the sdl mixer mix in it um, so you can pass in flags for other things as well um, the library itself is just like sdl2 it's it's in c most of our code is going to be in c except for me using a vector for storing some of the files or storing some of the sounds and we're going to be using well there's a vector in C but we're using a standard C++ vector and we'll probably use C out to print out some stuff so we're going to be using a C++ compiler but if you guys want to use it in C um, I assume if you guys want to use it in C you guys know enough to figure out what you need to change for almost anything but for the most part almost all the lines of code will work in C just a few changes um, but there's a few tutorials uh, showing how to do some stuff, so I'll share these as well. Along with that, the code that I'm going to be creating is going to be pretty similar to the code that I put in my game that I worked on the last month. So we'll, we have this song file in MP3 and the sound effect, which is like a gun shot. It's a WAV file, and we're playing both of those. Um, I'm not going to be covering how to use setup SDL2 and uh, like creating a window and not whatnot, but I'll have the code shared for you guys. But basically, this is like a little template file that I have that uses SDL and it creates a window and a render and displays a displays it to the screen and it also manages input. So we're just going to be using that just to have some basic stuff. And we're making our file right here. We we'll want to include that STL template and we want to include STL.h um, this is actually included in the template but you guys probably just to let you know I guess this is what you're going to be needing um, and then here's the mixer as well and we're going to want the vector like I mentioned and let's use IO stream just in case we need it Okay, so that's going to be all the includes that we're going to need. There, we can do a load music function, and this load music function will take in a uh, character for file name. We'll do the same one for a sound. The sound is basically it's like a short sound bite or like a sound effect or whatnot. And then we'll also set up, we'll have a volume, we'll just make an integer, and we'll have void set volume. And then that'll be an integer as well. And now we're going to have two functions to play, um, both play music, and a function to play the sound effects. So the point we're going to be using a vector for is for storing everything. And whenever you go to play uh, a song or anything, you just pass in the. Uh, where in the vector it's going to be. So you store all your songs, you're just storing the integer of where it is in the vector. Um, we're creating a, an initializer function, we'll just call it init mixer, and then we'll do init, uh, no, quit mixer as well. And we'll have a toggle play function. Create our main down here. Oh, my bad. Just want to have it dented so it looks a little bit better for everyone watching. Um, so we can just do, we'll do SDL template. This is just initializing some of the SDL stuff. And now we're going to do init mixer right here. And We'll call in functions to call our 
uh, to load in stuff. So load sound, sound dot wave, and int uh, song, and load music. Um, song dot mp3. You know, let's put the quote around these as well. Um, so we're gonna actually fill up these functions in just a moment, but we're just setting up some basic stuff. And we'll have it play the song already. So pass in a song to play it. And we'll have it loop. Down here we'll have a quit. This is part of the SDL templates quit. So it closes out some of the SDL stuff. Um, along with that, we'll close out, we'll call our quit mixer. And we'll clear up all the songs we load in and quit the mixer as well. There's the template running right here. Um, this is just something that's part of the template as well. Let me, I just have this loop function. Begin render. Render and an end render. Okay. And then down here, we're going to set up some input stuff. We'll just be checking to see if a button's pressed, and from that, we'll play and pause something. So it'll be key states, and it'll STL scan code, uh, which is use Q to play the sound. Play sound, sound. And then down here, we'll have another button to toggle the play. And we'll use a P for that. Um, just to let you know, this key state thing, it's just checking if a button's down or not. So this pausing one isn't going to work exactly, because it's going to think that the button's down, and it's going to be toggling, it's going to play and pause it. I don't have anything checking for that. But that's, I guess, outside the scope of the video, um, the keyboard input stuff. But the toggle play function itself, it'll work. Um, so now let's go up here and let's actually set up everything that we need. We're going to create our two vectors right here. We'll have SDO vector. And the first one for the sound is going to be a chunk. And it'll be sounds. Let's copy this one. And this one will be music. Except for this one's not going to be a chunk. This one will be called music. And then on our load one, we'll do, we'll create a new one for music as well. Set that to null. And then we'll load it in right here. Mix load music. File name. Now let's just make sure it worked correctly. Uh, we'll be doing m equals null. Um, we'll just use, uh, I guess, printf for this. Printf failed to load music, SDL, mixer, error. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's correct. And then let's close it off and let's pass in the error. Get error. And we'll return a negative one. Down here, we can return music dot size right there, and we'll ask it. We need to push it into so music push back m. So this right here is going to be uh, initializing a new mix music. It loads it in, makes sure it worked. And then it's pushing it back into our vector, and then it's returning where it is in the vector. So that way we can keep track of where it is. And we're basically just doing the exact same thing for the load sound as well. So for that, we can just copy this into load sound. Except for, as we know before, this is a chunk. Oh, my bad. That's a chunk. And we need to push it back into the correct one. Music will be sounds. We can change this to wave. Let's we'll just say that all the 
um, sound effects and smaller files are just all wave files that we're playing. That's a, all capitalized actually. But uh, yeah, so that's everything we need for this loading it, the sounds and the music. The volume, it's pretty simple. There, we're just calculating. Um, let's say we're doing a percentage, uh, zero to 100. So we're just gonna be calculating that based on the max volume. And to do that, we'll set volume equals to min, no, mix max volume, which I believe is 128. But maybe it's like different on different computers, I don't know. But uh, this is all you need to do. That's just figuring out what percentage it is and it's setting it to the correct volume. And then in your play music, we want to do, call it, all in the if statement and we'll do mix playing music let's just check to see if it's already playing something so if it's not playing anything that's where we're going to play it we'll do mix volume and passing the volume and uh, this first one right here is like a channel so we're just passing in the first channel and we're going to have mix play music New music M, and then I'll pass in that negative one as well. Uh, but that's all we need, just to be playing the music and playing the sound effect is going to be pretty similar. Uh, we can do, I guess we can just copy this, except for it's not going to be play music, it's going to be play channel. And uh, let's change this one to negative one and uh this one right here needs to have a negative one this needs to be sounds s and this one will be a zero and let's have that return zero as well that's all we need to do for playing it and now let's initialize and quit everything and we can set up the toggle as well and then we'll be done so initialize we'll do um, SDL init. In case you're not doing SDL init everything, we'll just make sure we init the audio stuff. Init audio. And like I mentioned, even with this like uh, lazy foo stuff, he doesn't use the mix in it, but we're going to be doing that. Um, so you can initialize stuff for like a flock file or MP3 file, which MP3 is what we're using in this example. So we'll do SDL. No, it's going to be mix init like this. And we're going to pass in the flag. Um, you can pass in multiple flags, like how there's a that little bar right there. That's how you pass in multiple of them. But this one, we're just using this as such. And now we just want to init open the audio channel for it and set our volume. Oh, turn zero also to the beginning. But we'll do an if right here. Uh, set volume. Let's set it to eighty percent. And here will be mix, open audio. And let's make sure if it works or not. Here will be a printf as well. SDL mixer couldn't in it. Error. We'll have the error right here. In mix get error okay and then for this open audio I guess I'll show you in the documentation um, it's going to be taking in the frequency format channels and a chunk size um, and there's some stuff right here like the default frequency so we're just going to be using some of that stuff um, let's just pass in this right here and mix default format 2 and 2048 and that's everything we're going to be needing for initializing this stuff let's uh, return a minus 1 down here and now it's quit right here too as well um, for quitting we're just going to want to loop through or you don't really need to but we're going to be looping through uh, I guess like the sound and the songs just to clear them and free their chunks 
Uh, so we're we doing for a for loop. It'll be int s equals zero. S is greater than sounds dot size. S plus plus. And we're gonna mix free chunk sounds s. And then we'll do sounds s equals null. And it'll do that same thing for the music as well. I'll just leave the same variable as free music. And let me make sure this is music as well. And that's going to clear up the music and the sound. And we'll do mix quit right here. Now for the toggle play, we're just going to be checking if it's playing or if it's not playing, and then just flipping it. So we'll do if and then an else. So in here it's going to be if mix paused music equals one. We'll do mix resume music. And uh, I'll just no, we don't. I was kind of a print statement, but that doesn't matter. And then else we'll do mix pause music. Okay. And like I mentioned, the input stuff in this template that I have, it's not checking if something's being held down or not. So this toggle, it works, except for in this example, it's going to be kind of flicking it back and forth. Um, but here we can compile it. Uh, because we're using the vector, uh, we're going to be using G++. And we're going to need our code. And then SDL2. And SDL2 mixer. And right here, let's check for anything. Okay. So that needs a dot H at the end. And okay, let's look for any bugs. Um, okay, so typo on line 12. Okay, and then same thing with 22, it's supposed to be the same thing. Line 69. We'll just make this void. Um, and let's check down here. Missing that semicolon. Okay, now let's compile it again. And this is going to be down at the bottom again. Just missing the bracket. I assume. Yep. So if you guys are watching this, you guys probably already noticed. Now well, let's compile it. This warning right here is just because it's not uh, has something to do with the SDL template. It's still going to work. It doesn't matter. Now let's play it. And as you can see, it's playing the song automatically. You can click P. It'll toggle it. Play it again. And we can click Q. It's going to play our gun sound. Oh, and there was an error. What's a uh, sound out wave? Let's make sure... Let's see what that was for playing the sound. Uh, let's make sure I did this right. Okay, so this is what I get for copying pasting in the load sound. It's returning the music size. We're gonna wanna return, return the sounds size. Um, let's uh, compile that one more time. And as we can see, um, I hopefully you guys can hear this, but as you can see, it's playing the sound. Uh, whenever you click it. Um, that's basically everything. Uh, the code for everything is going to be in the description. We covered how to load in the music and the sound or the chunk. Um, setting a volume, uh, playing a chunk and playing music, and uh, initializing and quitting everything, uh, toggling the play as well. There's a few other functions similar to this. It's going to be, you can look in the documentation on all of them. Uh, there's like a halt music and there's a few other things. Um, as I mentioned before, the init stuff, it's not really necessary. I just had in here because it uh, kind of tidies up a little bit of stuff that we're not covering the video at all. Um, thanks again for watching. Hopefully this video is interesting. And if you guys have any comments or if you guys have any things, anything at all you want to talk about, just leave in the comment section below. And see you guys again next time. Bye.